possible way Good morning, Bishop Gorman. I'm Caitlin Bertram. I'm Calder Lane. And, and this, this is BGTV. It's Monday, March 21st. It was on this date 46 years ago that Martin Luther King Jr. led over 3,000 people on a march to Montgomery, Alabama for civil rights. It was also on this day that two balloon enthusiasts became the first humans to circumnavigate the globe in a hot air balloon. So today, try to remember you're part of a species, some of whose members marched through the streets for equal rights and some of which marched nowhere, having chosen to spend 19 days in a balloon. Speaking of incredible journeys, the last few retreats of the year are still accepting applications. For freshmen, sophomore, forms for the Quest Retreat are available. If you're a junior or senior, don't forget to pick up an application for the final Kairos of the year, held from April 3rd through the 5th. The cost is $100 and is due by March, by March 23rd. Attention all students, the library will be closed after school today until approximately 2.50 for faculty meetings. Please plan accordingly. The next Best Buddies meeting will be held this afternoon in room, in room 300 at 2 o'clock. You must attend if you want to be an officer for next year. Additionally, for any students wanting service hours, sign up for a one-mile walk on March 26th to raise awareness for people with disabilities. Go to Campus Ministry for more information. This is a reminder to all students that Gorman enforces a closed campus. Vehicles must be parked on campus in their assigned parking space. Violations of this policy can result in fines from $25 to $100. To obtain an assigned parking space and parking decals, go to Student Services as soon as possible. All members of the Creating Writing Club, please mark your calendar for April Fool's Day. It's no joke. The club will be meeting in room 203 at 6.30 to critique work. All new members are welcome. Please bring a half a dozen copies of your writing and three meatball sandwiches. Okay, the last part was a joke. Juniors and seniors, it's that time of year. Prom tickets are on sale today for $160 for a couple and $85 for a single payment. To reserve your spot, you may do so with half the payment at any lunch. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Attention all French speakers, the National French exam is this Wednesday, March 23rd. You'll be missing your first period class to take this test. French 1 will go to the Commons, French 2 will head to room 300, and French 3 to the library. Bon chance! This Wednesday at 7.30 on Vegas PBS, Gorman's varsity quiz team will face off against Green Valley for the state championship. Be sure to tune in to see all the trials, tribulations, and frantic button pressing. The speech and debate team also deserves some congratulations for the events of the weekend. The team competed in state competition in Mesquite, with Spencer Cross placing fifth in domestic extemporaneous speaking, Gabriella Quarantella placing third in student house, and Jacqueline Morea placing second in international extemporaneous speaking and sixth in student senate. Way to go, guys. While the debaters debated, our sports teams were hard at work doing what they do best, winning. For more on that, here's our very own sportsman, Natanid Baranchachianon. But you guys know him as Mike P. Right, now it is time for our sports. So this week is very similar to last week. It is different, however, because this Friday, all of us have school, but last Fridays, almost all of us, sports had games on Friday. First off, congratulations to our women's softball team. Went four wins, no losers this weekend, winning the entire tournament. They are playing Desert Oasis and Durango this Thursday and Friday. Our baseball team brought out the big sticks last week, beating Spring Valley 11-1 to and St. Mary's of Arizona 16-4. to On deck is Desert Oasis this Thursday. Men's golf won against Sierra Vista and Spring Valley on last Thursday. They are facing Bonanza today and Perum on Thursday. Our men's volleyball team kicks off their season with the first game today against Desert Oasis. Good luck, guys, and that's it for sports, and back to you, Carter. Thanks, Mike. That about wraps things up here at BGTV. Please remember that Mike Box is tomorrow and to give generously. Every dollar counts. I'm Caitlin Bertram. And I'd like this to take this opportunity to ask Micah to prom. So what do you say, Micah? And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV.